How's it going everyone? It's Javi from Mother Sponge 5000 and in this video we're going to talk about the next possibility we could see a northeast snowstorm as we approach next week. So first let's take a look at the GFS model. We do have snow showers moving through New England but as of right now it seems like most of the heaviest of the snow showers have moved off the coast so you shouldn't worry about much more meaningful accumulation right over New England maybe around an inch or two more um, later this morning and into the afternoon before it's all said and done here in portions of New England but outside of this storm system it's going to be rather dry for much of the eastern half of the United States but that's going to but it's going to be a different story when we take a look at the west coast because if we were to continue to move forward we do see that there's a strong ridge that's going to make conditions a lot drier than normal right over most of the United States in general um there could be a small clipper system moving through the Great Lakes region that could bring some snow showers right over the Great Lakes but it shouldn't be very heavy snowfall there isn't going to be a ton of instability for this storm system to work with we do see that it does have a decent amount of cold air but there isn't necessarily a uh, strong a uh, very strong area of warm air that's just to the east of it that would create a little bit more convective activity so as a result you shouldn't expect maybe more than an inch of two of snowfall right over michigan and into northern ohio and continuing to move forward we do see that the instability doesn't really increase even as this moves further southward it just seems like the air is a little bit too cold just to the east of the storm system for a lot of convective activity to occur but in terms of what you should expect right over michigan and northern ohio maybe expect around an inch of snow um and same goes for the portions of the higher elevations of West Virginia and the western portion of the actual state of Virginia um, on Wednesday, um, January 31st. Definitely um, pay attention to that and the higher elevations of those areas. And then you should expect rain showers right over the Carolina. So there isn't anything major to worry about over here. But if we were to shift our focus towards the west coast, we clearly see that there's a lot more rain showers developing and very and it, they could be heavy at times so right up on the northern coast of california oregon as well as the coast of washington you should ex you could possibly see some flash flooding in some localized areas and this could easily bring around three to five inches of rainfall right up on the coast of california and potentially even more than that especially in the higher elevations but of course if you go a little bit too uh, much higher than that you're gonna see heavy snowfall right over the sierra um nevada ranges um where you should expect feet of snow in the sierra um, mountains of california and this range should extend further southward into los angeles into san diego as well but more importantly this storm system will eventually move eastward and could lead to our next major winter storm for the east coast we do see this is bringing plenty of snowfall right over the higher elevations of pretty much the entirety of the west coast we're seeing snowfall in the higher elevations of new mexico colorado utah nevada um idaho and many other states throughout the rocky mountain ranges so you definitely need to be prepared for that if you live in the higher elevations of a lot of these areas as it's very likely you're going to experience a pretty significant um pretty significant snow from this storm system as this continues ahead further eastward but eventually once this head towards texas it's gonna definitely gain quite a bit more convective activity thanks to the amount of instability that's going to exist right over texas there's going to be plenty of cold air behind this trough and um, like i said there's going to be a pretty strong ridge it's going to supply this storm system with enough humidity and warm air for a high amount of convective activity to exist right over texas and oklahoma which only has me concerned for areas like dallas and um, houston when it comes to flash flooding and all, as well as portions of oklahoma you definitely need to be aware of the, that scenario and we do see the pressure is quite low for a storm system that's this far south it isn't every day we see a 988 millibar low pressure system move as far south as texas but we're seeing that right here thanks to the amount of cold air and it's even more surprising because this storm system by this point on sunday 
on February 4th. It's going to be disconnected from the jet stream and it still has this amount of power. We're going to need to see if this holds up because we're going around 153 hours out. A lot could change between now and Sunday. So let me keep that in mind in Texas. But I'd definitely be concerned for a severe weather threat in the southeast. But moving forward, even beyond that point by Monday, the rain should move into the east, the eastern portion of the southeast where um, Florida and Georgia should expect severe thunderstorms. And then the possibility of a nor'easter could exist right around the Tuesday to Wednesday time frame between February 6th and February 7th for the East Coast, where there's going to be a decent jet stream dip. And this storm system is going to be quite powerful. So if this storm system manages to move close enough up the East Coast and we could have a major winter storm in our hands as of right now it seems like the gfs model is bringing mainly a light amount of snowfall right over new england not bringing much of any snowfall um towards new york city or philadelphia but you definitely um but there's still definitely that possibility that maybe this storm system could move a little bit further eastward and bring major snowfall to more of the mid-atlantic states we're definitely going to need to stay tuned with how the gfs model and the european model shifts their forecast over the next um, few days because it's guaranteed that the forecast is going to change the big question remains will it change at a point where this storm system would move up the northeast coast that still has yet to be seen we're just going to need to see a little bit more ridging um build right over the western atlantic to force this low pressure system a little bit closer to the coast to bring a little bit more snowfall because it seems like the cold air will be there it just really all depends on the amount of ridging that's gonna um be just to the east of the storm system to be able to force this up towards the northeast and the computer models have been going back and forth with this idea a recent um a recent um run of the european model did want to take a pretty a significant snowstorm right around this time period um as of i think the january 27th run if we were to take a look at that it might have been the european or the gfs model but one but for sure one of the computer models at least as of one of the more recent runs was a bit more competent in bringing a significant snowstorm right around this time period the european model has shifted away from that idea but it's at least something to be aware of we see that um this is the 12z run from january 27th the european model does bring a significant snowstorm it has backed away from that idea as of the recent run but still at least gives you an idea that there's that po certainly that possibility of a major winter storm in the northeast and it would happen right around um february 6th uh, february 7th time frame between tuesday and wednesday of next week so you definitely need to be aware of that um in the northeast for that possibility as of the latest um european model run we see that the european model um expects the storm system to stay out to sea but we're um but if the ridging becomes strong enough we could see a major winter storm in our hands so i'll certainly keep you guys updated um over the next few days still too far out to say for certain if you guys will experience impacts but definitely stay tuned for um, more forecasts because we're definitely going to see changes with what the computer models are stating but in terms of what you should expect this week for the entirety of the united states right around tuesday and to wednesday of this week expect maybe around an inch of snowfall right over michigan and northern ohio and then some rain showers um over the um wednesday afternoon right over the carolinas and then moving forward this kipper system will also play a role because if we do see northerly winds a little bit strong enough then that will allow the cold air to exist and it will definitely play a role um in terms of maybe weakening the ridging or maybe strengthening the ridging we're definitely going to need to pay close attention to this clipper system because i'll play a key role in terms of the trajectory of our next potential major snowstorm for the northeast so definitely stay tuned for more updates guys um as i'll certainly um continue to release more videos regarding the possibility of a major northeast snowstorm but that's it for now guys and i thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe for more weather related content and i hope you guys all have a great day